Hello, Father Hubito, once again from the Diocese of Sacramento. My warmest greeting to all of you. Let go and let God. Let go all the words, anxieties in life and let God. Let God take over it. Hakuna Matata. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Today is Friday. T-G-I-F. Thank God it's Friday. Today I will be meditating on the Gospel of John chapter 21 verses 1 to 14. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Javidus sons and two other of his disciples, Simon Peter said to them i am going fishing they said to him we also will come with you so they went out and got into the boat but that night they caught nothing when it was already dawn jesus was standing on the shore but the disciples did not realize that it was jesus jesus said to them children have you caught anything to eat they answered him no so he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. So they cast the net and were not able to pull it because of the number of fish. So the disciples whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment for he was lightly clad and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came to the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over, dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them. And in like manner, the fish this now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. It's a beautiful gospel, the appearance of Jesus to his disciples again to give them assurance, to tell them that I am fully alive. In our life as Christians, my brothers and sisters, there are times that we feel the Lord is nowhere to be found. And we experience that. We have doubts, especially in our trials, in the times of tribulations and storms in our life, in the moments of crisis, loss of a loved one, problems, especially in our family, problems in the world there is a lot of inquietudes restlessness in life hence there are tendencies like what the disciples did of backsliding going back to the old life without christ if you remember that they were called when they were fishing and now they did the same thing the old ways that they've been doing without the risen lord the truth is the risen lord is always with us as he promised know that i am with you always until the end of the world sometimes we feel isolated and alone to face problems i tell you i want to assure you that jesus is fully alive jesus is here with us in our journey of life. In times of crisis, we should not lose hope, but allow the risen Lord to be with us and obey 
his loving commands so that we catch his bountiful blessing of inner peace and joy. So my brothers and sisters, every time we experience crisis and problems in life, don't hesitate to invite Jesus back into our life just like what happened in our gospel today when Jesus told them cast your net into the sea so that you will catch more fishes it is our challenge each day to obey and to trust the Lord all the days in our life God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.